this is a cold night and I tried to see the quasar 3C273 and that's the first quasar discovered and hallelujah I can see it <laughs> 2 billion light years away I never thought that uh, that would be that easy it was there you need a good finder chart I will provide you a few uh, sketches and charts that you can actually help yourself to find it if you want. and uh, thanks to this uh, Mead ETX uh, Mead LX90 go to I can find it this is the APM 20 millimeter this also it helped me to find it it's beautiful. two billion light years away that's where th the life on the earth was only a bacterial algae and uh, the sun was almost half of uh, its age much much brighter than what it is now it was a really hotter place. And this environment yet we have to wait another several million years several hundreds of million years for the uh, impact crater that created the big uh, big astroblem in the Canada And I've seen the light which left that quasar. A black hole is devouring the stars and gases around it. It's so bright when the Hubble Space Telescope wants to look at it, it only sees a star. It has to block that star to see the host galaxy of this. This is an active nucleus, active galaxy nuclei. And uh, it has to block it. It's dazzling. What you see in a telescope, in any telescope from the Earth almost, is just a star. It's so bright, you just see a star, but it's so far at the same time. You don't see anything of the spiral orbs or nebulosity of the galaxy itself, of the host galaxy. But you see the devouring light coming out of the black hole, escaping from the accretion disk of the black hole before falling into the event horizon that is a catalysmic uh, <laughs> event happening in the sky i'm looking at two two billion light years this is the farthest i've ever looked into the sky two million light years is the distance you can see with the naked eye and with this 8 inch telescope it's two billion light years And to see the true nature of this, you need a radio telescope, which is practically beyond our view. If we could see radio sources, we could see that this 3C273 quasar is bright. In a quasar, as a quasar, but it, most of the emission that is uh, uh, reaching us is in the radio form, probably X-ray, I have to look in the sources. Uh, this is amazing. I can see it visible in the visible part of the spectrum. 